Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. You ever stop and think about the things you could never, ever, ever do as a content creator, right? Like, I think about this not so much every day like I used to, but I do think about it quite often. Like one of the things I could never, ever, ever do as a content creator would be to sit up and make up a bunch of baseless crap and talk down on someone and be a step below a drama channel, right? Because if you know a lot of bad and harrowing things about the VTubing space, then you would know that people make up random crap quite often usually with no evidence and blah 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 though again that's not entirely restricted to the vtubing space that happens a lot but it happens a lot in the vtubing space and that's what i'm talking about right now i could never do something like that because one where's your integrity where's your wh wh where's your humanness at uh number two i could never on the same vein of the whole like vtubing thing i could never who never be a drama channel because i've seen a lot of drama channels not just v2 specific like game star drama alert uh uh what's that one guy that reads the tweets and i've seen just how soulless all of their stuff is and i'm like ooh, nasty couldn't be me though not gonna let that slide like i can never be a drama channel because you know, people like to use the term chronically online uh, quite a bit for every inconceivable thing. And it's like that type of thing actually requires you to be terminally online all the time. And I'm like, Ugh, no, I spend enough time doing things on Internet that are fun. I refuse to do things on Internet that are not fun, like constantly chasing a story, constantly looking for this, constantly looking for that. And it's just like this is actual garbage to your content why people consume this people consume this because they like to laugh at things i like to laugh at things i like to go hee hee ha ha but unnecessary crap i'm like you know what i'm cool on that i'm a pass on that and there have been times on streams where i've ran my mouth about things that have gotten on my nerves some things could well be written down as drama however i'm not doing it as like a like a grandstand oh hey look at this thing let's sensationalize this thing i talk about it because it's fucking stupid you're stupid do something that isn't just borderline harassing people all day in day out like come on now that 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 no no you're doing too much gang you're doing way too much with that uh, another thing i could never ever ever do as a content would be to sit up and scream and cry and piss myself over oh woke Ooh, DEI. I like actually genuinely don't understand the whole woke and DEI anger because if we're going to get like actually genuinely specific for a minute, the whole concept of being woke has been so bastardized over the years because in its original origin, it was oh hey, we should be aware of societal problems let's not turn a blind eye to things that are wrong in the world that we constantly interact in day in and day out being aware of those problems is a good thing we should try to make it so that those things don't get worse and it's been taken by various medias specifically and people who aren't worth the air that they breathe being like oh well this is woke and that's woke and their thing that they're screaming the word woke at is being aware of what's going on in politics or like falling out of societal problem uh something being woke is not a person of color in a game or a movie or a comic or what have you that's not what being woke is and a lot of people they like to relegate wokeness to oh there's a person of color on the screen oh it's woke oh there's a woman on screen 
or they're the main character or they're a prominent supporting character oh it's so woke 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 dei 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 and i'm like i don't i genuinely and i'm not saying this to talk shit yet but i genuinely genuinely do not understand why people get their panties in a bunch over it what's the problem you're and, and it's always the people who have like no directorial experience or the people who listen to grifters all day on youtube and tiktok and facebook and whatever insert social media here all day that scream into the abyss about it or it's people who if you ask me personally i just think they're racist and sexist but hey whoa whoa can't say that one you can't say that right <laughs> even though majority of the time when they do screech about this it's usually because a person of color or a woman is on screen and they somehow have a problem with that like when the sequel of Sushima was revealed and it was oh hey a woman's a female lead character yay whoopee yee yeah people were mad about that can't comprehend why there are shows with you know predominantly uh black characters people of color asian characters hispanic characters whatever people are mad about it and i cannot comprehend why if people get all upset when the lead for insert piece of media here or the characters for insert piece of media here are not all like white dudes and they get mad and i cannot comprehend why you see the pattern here right the pattern is patterning you get it you get it all right cool cool i don't get that because at the end of the day the people who are in those roles had the skill set necessary had the talent had the drive and determination to fulfill that role they're the ones that got in that role if you person who was constantly mad about things that you have no control over and screaming over wokeness and yeah if you're mad about it either do not consume the content because the content that you're not consuming you're not paying your money and time on isn't going to hurt you or just do it yourself get your money get your people start your studio whatever and do it yourself if you have that much of a problem with it because like i said i don't understand I, I i genuinely do not understand and if someone that sees this whatever format it may be maybe clipped out of context maybe with the context you might even be watching this video right now in real time i don't know i don't care but if you happen to be one of these individuals that genuinely gets upset about woke things or di insert things elaborate your thoughts in whatever format that may be but do it in a way that elicits conversation because if it's in a way that does not elicit conversation not entertaining that you see you feel all right cool uh another thing i can never do as content creators be a grifter seeing people like fully dive into the whole grifting thing are you even a real person do you actually genuinely believe in anything in a world like at all like <laughs> what are we doing here i it's the people who scream about this and scream about that and dive headlong into some garbage that genuinely isn't good for not just them but for like anybody and then when they get betrayed by their own kind they're like oh i have to change i have to turn a new leaf and it's like maybe you shouldn't have been doing this in the first place regardless of the money regardless of, of 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 the bag you know you don't have to sit up and constantly screech and piss and whine and cry about things you don't believe in for attention because why why are you doing these things in the first place the answer is money the answer is always money one of my golden rules and my golden philosophies as a content creator is i'm not going to push a product or anything of the sort that i don't believe in and I'm not going to talk and support and have motion in things that I don't believe in. And so to see people just do that day in and day out, it it confuses me. I don't understand. How many times have you seen prominent grifting people just fully jump ship when the people that they think they're advocating for turn their backs on them? Like whole audience just is like what the fuck are you doing bro what, what what are we doing here what's your problem 
What's your damage? Stop it. Get some help. Another thing I can never do as a content creator, and this is taken from infamous horrendous mess of a content creator that is Dark Side Phil, and do what he does. I could never, never do that because one, I enjoy playing video games, whether it makes me money or not. I enjoy doing that, and most of the time, I enjoy sharing my experiences with people. I will never sit up and just completely do a 180 on my supposed love for games and only enjoy something if it's making me like buku levels of money right or if i'm constantly getting you know bits or, 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 or donations or people buy my stream loot cards or whatever that's not going to dictate if i enjoy something or not and that dude has been doing that for like years and there's been instances on stream where i would have like the content greater conversation or whatever because i'm not no super huge guy i just like doing what the fuck i do you know but i've known of that guy for a long time and i've always told myself i could never be like him i could never be like him i could never be like him right and somehow some kind of way so to this day he's still around he's still doing the same garbage and He'll play a game, he'll get a game, and he'll like stop playing the game if it isn't making him money and shit. And he's just he's just all around like a bad guy. Real bad dude. Real, real bad dude. But that's another thing I can never do as a gun to like fake enjoy something. Well, there have been moments where I'd get like really, really excited, really, really emotional. And that shit is real. I could never fake up my emotions or the moment or exaggerate something as a content creator because that's not genuine and people are able to tell when something is genuine if they're watching it as a viewer or whatever you know some, something that i told a friend of mine a long time ago who has stopped streaming for various reasons is to never fake it don't fake it because people will tell and people will call you out on it i guess the last point of many the round this little video thing off as things i could never ever ever do as a content creator outright be cruel as a content creator like i could never harass anyone i'd never bully someone i'd never like go out of my way to ruin someone else's content creation life just because i don't like them because there's a lot of people i don't like but i'm not gonna go out of my way to bring damnation and ruination upon them just cuz which is again what happens a lot in the content creation space especially vtubing especially gaming shit because you know you can have person a you know vibing thriving enjoying themselves with their own sense of humor their own community and whatever you can have person b just be the polar opposite and do everything in their power to bring person a down just because i don't get that what's your problem what's wrong with you why do you do these things everyone's journey is different everyone goes about doing things in their own way but on this corner of the internet i could never do these things because i would actually go insane 